Hey, Sir sure, Pedro. Yeah, since we spoke with you yesterday, they have put up a fence, but on the other end, you still have that huge uh, pile of debris as well as the gas canisters, gas tanks out here, and a smashed in vehicle. Now, investigators were out here surveying the damage, really just trying to determine the cause of that blast, but that could still take anywhere from days to even weeks. Now, the new information we are learning is who that woman was inside the house at the time of the explosion. We're learning she was only 25 years old, Sherelle King, and her family tells us while they're so grateful she's still alive, her life will now forever be changed. I'm just glad that she's still alive, like that she's still here, that she's going to make it. Trisha King and her family are now grappling with news they still can't believe. Trisha's sister, 25 year old Sherelle King, now hospitalized with severe burns after this. A massive explosion and Sherelle's screams all captured on a neighbor's ring video. This is Sherelle before the house she was renting in Victorville exploded early Wednesday morning on Adelaine Court near Yanata Avenue. She was airlifted to a trauma center after residents tell us she was blown into a neighbor's backyard where they found her. Doctors tell her sister she suffered burns to 90% of her body. They say that she'll be in the hospital for several months, maybe longer than a year. And when she does come home, she won't be able to live on her own. She won't look the same. She'll have to have somebody basically doing everything for her 24 7. This is what's left. A pile of debris after the explosion set what was left of the house on fire and caused damage to neighboring homes. Investigators surveying the damage for hours, trying to determine the cause of the blast. I heard a big bang. I think someone had, had a bomb aside. Now, Sherelle's family wants answers after they say she had smelled gas days before. My sister Sherelle has reported that she smelled gas and she's called and they've came out. But every time they've came out, they've told her that it was good. There was nothing wrong. Southwest Gas saying they thoroughly inspected the incident site and surrounding area for gas leaks. No leaks were found. Do you know if your sister is conscious? Is she able to talk? Right now, the lady said that when they are asking her questions, they're telling her to blink. And so she's answering questions by blinking. So she's conscious, but she can't talk due to like tubes going down her throat. Now, unfortunately, Sherelle's family has not been able to speak with her. Uh, doctors tell them that she does also have COVID, so she's got to be isolated, but also because of her condition. And they are waiting to be able to do a video chat with her, uh, at least for the time being. Now, a lot of her family is from Vegas, so some of them had to return back home today. Others are staying in the area to show her that they're supporting her, that they're there for her as well. Now, also what we learned from her sister today, Sherelle had two dogs inside that house. One of them, she says, has died. The other one was taken by animal control and was injured. A neighbor's cat also died. Reporting live in Victorville, Cher Pedro, I'll send it back to you.